Hi, my friends. Thanks for stopping by. I thought today we would do some, well, ATCs or gift tags. I mean, you could use them for all kinds of things. So what I've done is I've taken the size of a regular playing card, which seems to be the popular choice for ATCs. So it's about two and a half inches across, three and a half inches, inches in length. I made a couple this morning, a little black and white one and uh, a collaged one. So yeah, I just thought we'd do some mini collages. And like I said, you can use them for ATCs or gift tags, whatever you choose. And I was thinking maybe, even for fun, put them on one of these rings to either store them or, I don't know, use your imagination. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to use, I think, are these little uh, stickers. They're not stickers because they don't stick. Um, <laughs> there's no backing on them, but I guess they're stickers. And some washi tape. I have that new plaid washi tape I picked up. The really pricey, almost $9 for a roll of rip-off washi tape. <laughs> I'm going to um, use some papers, some digital papers, some papers that I've made. Uh, I have some different colors here. Possibly we'll dig in, have some milkweed paper, um, just for different textures may jump into some of these new book you know I forget all about the thousand other book scrapbook paper pads I have now I'm just going to dig into the new ones that I got the other day I have a video on that on the papers that I got so yeah I may jump into uh, these books some of these are lovely they're lovely this one I absolutely adore the fairies and gray and blue and possibly use some uh, art by Marlene little uh, cutouts her work is fabulous too so maybe maybe baby we'll see I'm gonna just jump in and do what we do so yeah let's start with uh, let's try some of this green paper this green paper is actually <laughs> the very end of my printer um, ink and everything was coming out green but I kept printing because I wanted to uh, get every bit out of it that I could get if you're like me I'm paying a fortune on printer ink so yeah so yeah I think I might just do one with these this color scheme. Uh, maybe throw some washi tape in. This and that. I have some cool handmade papers that I made. I have some uh, cheesecloth. Uh, this. You know what this is? This is, you know, when you get a bag of oranges and they're in that red colored sort of plastic mesh bags. Well, you know, when you do this kind of stuff, you see uses for everything. So I tore the bag up, I painted it black and I printed it off. So now I have my own cool papers from that. So I might use some of that. Anyway, let's just jump into it. Let's start with this green and I like this. Let's start with this. Now I have never done a collage on something this small so this is a new experience for me. Should be fun though. I love doing collages and I'm going to be a really good doobie today and those that know me know what I'm going to say. 
I'm going to actually glue on my phone book instead of on my work. <laughs> A bad habit, gluing on my masterpieces. So yeah, little mini collages, what fun. You know, especially when you're not up for doing a whole collage. Why not do this, right? Okay, let's see what else we got here. Maybe this down here. Yep. I got to mix it up, so... Oh, I also, yeah, I mentioned the little stickers that aren't really stickers. Oops. This comes with age, folks. I'm turning 70 on my next birthday, so just be warned. <laughs> you, uh, everything becomes crooked. <laughs> or in my world, anyway. <laughs> my eyes have just, just don't work right anymore. Okay, let's put in... I could put in a little piece of this homemade Chinese paper, or Japanese, I guess. Uh, let's do a little bit more background. We can think about that after. Um, do we have something here that we might want to throw in? Maybe this. Sure, why not? I'm going to try to be uh, more spontaneous more spontaneous than not simply because I have a tendency to overanalyze and worry that if I put something on there could be something better I could have done <laughs> so I'm going to try going to try not gonna going to try to get out of that so another piece of washi tape maybe now these are small so I don't have to uh, you know what might work there too let me just I got 4,000 pages of book page. Maybe I should just use them. Uh, okay. There. Maybe a little bit of a book page. <clears throat> Excuse me. work isn't it a treat when you throw something together and it works maybe this way this way if I do it this way I could turn this around here <laughs> for no good reason I'm trying to get the words right side up and there is no good reason for that this is a collage, not a novel to be read. Okay, we can come in with some, this Japanese paper, maybe. Um, maybe some more washi tape, or some washi tape. That's a little bit more narrow, I think. Maybe this one. Yeah, let's try that. So, a really humid day out there today. It's raining off and on. And I would normally be working on market items. I uh, sell at Christmas markets collages and concentrating this year on collages and coasters maybe a few cards maybe a few bookmarks <laughs> okay what else can we throw on there now am I going to Yeah, I'm going to throw a little bit of something here. 
maybe another little bit of this uh not that another little piece of this i think so small so small think big act small <laughs> Okay, I throw that there. Now we can come in with our Japanese. Yep. Try not to overthink it. So are you folks like I am with the overthinking? Drive myself crazy sometimes. That's it. Trim this down or trim it up, whichever way you like to say it. That was fun and easy, wasn't it? Gee, we could whip through a few of these. Now I think. Um, these could, might, don't need to, but could be sprayed with a varnish. Make sure this is down. Yeah, the feeling wasn't quite stuck there. This could be finished off with a varnish. We could do um, some, let's throw a little Stabilo on the edges just to uh, finish it off. Now Stabilo's an oil pencil, activate it with water. So you can use a Q-tip or, you know, a water brush or be like me and just use your tongue and your finger. Now that lifted up, so. Oh, it's stuck back down. <laughs> Make sure the camera's yeah, I'm all right. So there we have it. Tag number one. Now I'm going to use this to... Punch it. Oh, no, look at that. To punch a hole and possibly add to either add it to that ring I showed you, or we could just add a little bit of string in case we want to use this for a gift tag. So, let's poke this through here. I think this is like twice as much as I need. So let's not waste it. Trim that up with a pair of dull scissors. <laughs> Let me get a better pair of scissors. Where's my good pair? I only have like 12 pair. I'm exaggerating. I have one, two, three, four, five pair of scissors. Probably three pair more than I need. Okay, there we go. There. That makes a cute little gift tag. Okay, number one. Let's do another. Change it up a little bit here. We're done with these papers. Uh, let's do a some of my homemade papers here. Some of 
Froyle's papers, digital papers from Froyle Art. Beautiful. Beautiful shades. Yep. If you've ever had a chance, if you've never had a chance, or if you've never heard of Froil Art, check her out. She's uh, she's a whiz when it comes to uh, creating these beautiful papers. Ooh, gee, Sherry, a little too rambunctious there. It's all right. Just have texture now. <laughs> Okay, could have brought that over a little further. That's okay. All right, now what can we add to that? How about some of this cool paper, cool sherry paper? I don't want it to go all the way down just seems too contrived. So let's just put it in the corner. Okay, come sa. Just like that. And what else can we add here? Ooh, if I had a smaller one of that, it would be good. Do I have a smaller one of that? Or some of this gold, maybe. Yeah, let's put this gold circle in. Now this, I just, this was Froyle's papers, but I took a gold gel pen. And... I don't know, that's a little bit too much of the same color, I think. Let's just wait on that. Let's see if we have something else here. I have a piece here. This is my own homemade paper. Could add that. Okay, try not to overthink. Sure, why not? Why not? Yeah, so it's the humidity is probably around 250 today. <laughs> it's really humid. And I can't work on my on my uh, coasters because I can't put resin on with this humidity. Because you get this sort of funky film in the resin. So... And I'm getting ready for markets, for Christmas markets. That works. Look at that. Um, ended up with some more Chinese writing, or Japanese, whatever this is. Sorry, folks, I, I just don't know the difference. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, I think this is probably Japanese. Yeah, so the resin doesn't like high humidity. So later on this week, it's supposed to go down to uh, 70, you know, around 75 humidity. So then I can work on my coasters. Okay, what was it that I was going to put in there? And then I said, no, maybe I'll wait. Oh, it was this. No, it's still too much of the same color. No, nope. now I don't want to overthink it again, but let me see. I just don't like the one, two, three, four like that. I'm just feeling like it needs a little something. Maybe I've got something in here I can throw in. Uh, 
This might be pretty. Just doesn't stand out too much. Let's see if something might be a little better. This is a great little pad. Great pad, man. Ooh, these flowers might work. Yeah, I think that works. Ooh, big gob of glue. Boy, they don't stick down very well. That's not staying down well at all. Buckling up. There were all kinds of weird things. Okay, maybe I'll pass on that. <laughs> maybe I'll pass. Maybe some washi tape again. Maybe this gold and black this very precious tape that'll work which way do i want to have it go Okay, trim it off. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, have their little hole punch. Which way? This way, I think. And now we could get that ready to put on our ring. That'll be fun. I think I'll do a few first and put them all on together. So I'll put that aside. Put this aside. Um, tidy up some of the scraps here. Okay. Next. Get this glob of glue. Gob of glue, glob of glue, glob of glue, glob of glue, Galapagos. <laughs> okay, another one. Uh, we could do some jelly print paper. Oh, let's do that. I don't know what we're going to put with this. But we're trying to be spontaneous, right? Intuitive art. To the edge. All right. I wonder if this will work on this one. Maybe. Okay. Now. Nope. Ended up with a lot of, a lot of, uh, of the pink after all, didn't I? Just add some blue, right? Let's 
So yeah, humid today, but starting tomorrow, it's supposed to be 17, 18 for the rest of the week and much lower humidity. So it's going to be beautiful. I have a piece of cheesecloth. Maybe we could throw a piece of cheesecloth down just for something different. Let's do that. That end piece is kind of folded up on itself, so I don't want to use that. Okay, I think we need to put a little more background down first, and then we can put our cheesecloth on top of that. All right, where are we? Okay. Let's take a look in our books here. I've got a blue and this paper might work. Or too much of a good thing. Maybe. Maybe, baby. How about our little fairy papers? Yeah, it's not doing anything for me. Maybe some black and white. Let's try that. That works for me. I wonder if this thing will stick down. It's so smooth. I don't know if... Let's try this. Right on to... Right on to the... Substrate. If it... Boy, you need a lot with this thing. Where's my trusty gift tag? Gift card. Do I still need something more down there? Cover up that white, maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, why not? Go a little crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. Go a little crazy here. I knew this mesh looking paper would come in handy. I just like that look. Okay, now this is tricky to get this cheesecloth to stay down. I'm going to have to Really lay down a lot of glue and see if that works. I think that's going to be okay. Now the trick will be to trim this down without tearing off my cheesecloth. 
We can do it, right? We have the technology. That will do. Another little hole punch. Trying to get it abode in the right place. Okay. Now, let's do a third. I'm on a roll now. No stopping us now, folks. Well, let me see. Maybe we can come in with some Art by Marlene, Artsy Arabia. Or should we try to make like a Christmassy one? I have a Christmas stamp here somewhere. Merry Christmas. Pew. How are we going to do that? Have to be pretty plain. This is quite a big stamp. So I think we need some outside and then some white. Um, yeah. Try to get a Christmas look here somehow. Uh, that's too yellow. Oh, this will work. Look at that. Are we cheating? Let's put that down, then we can figure out where we're going to get some red, some red uh, paper. I don't have any Christmas design paper. I thought I had some. I can't find it. I only have 4,000 paper pads. Okay. Now, what have I got here that's got red in it? This piece. Let's see if this will work. I'll try it. Ugh, glued to everything. Okay, I'll give us a shot. Might work, might not. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? I can't tell with the card. There we go. The fun thing about these, I mean, what, what is your loss? 30 cents worth of uh, paper. That might have turned out. Let's see. Necessity is the mother of invention, as they say. Referring to not having any Christmas design paper. Make do with what you have, I guess. Okay, that works. Works in my world. Okay, let's punch a hole in there. Goes this way. Well, 
what can we put on that for a piece of string this white piece i think we'll make a tag out of this one okay my fingers are all sticky at this point Should we do some Stabilo there on this? Won't hurt. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Yeah, getting ready for Christmas markets. For those of you that do markets, you know, pressure's on. <laughs> I do a big one. It's called Sherbrooke Village Museum. It's a, you know, walk around type museum. It's got, it's beautiful. I love it there. It's got a, Cool. It's got, um, I don't know, 35, 40 buildings from 1867. And they have a lot of volunteers that put up thousands of lights. They have Whoville. They have Santa comes in. They have a tree lighting opening ceremony. They have a big market. Well, not a big market, actually. There's only about, I've been doing this, this will be my fourth year, I think. They only have about, probably, less than 30 vendors. But a lot of people go to this. Because it's so old-fashioned, it's so beautiful. They serve hot chocolate, and they have a couple of, you know, food trucks. And these beautiful old buildings are lit up. And it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So, yeah, so they've accepted my credit card, so I guess I'm in. So the pressure's on. And I have, uh, what I sell the most of at that market is my coasters sell very well. Some of my collages, I'm hoping, the collages are new to me, so I'm hoping. Um, my watercolor little prints and originals, sold a few of those, uh, lots of bookmarks, and yeah, coasters, and like I said, I'm hoping my collages will sell well, because that's a new thing for me, and I'm loving it, so shall we do another? My hands were kind of sticky, but I think I can get through it, um, yeah, we were going to look at Marlene's um, funky papers here, her cutouts, that's a bit of cheating I guess, that's okay, we're allowed, well, let's get a background, that's a little more difficult because, let's see what we have here, let's try this, with some orange for a different color, That's fun. Seems like that should be on, not a background. So we need a little something in the background. Okay. Let's look at my jelly print paper. There's some orange sticking out. Ah. See, this is so bright, it's making this look dull. So... I have to pick something not quite so bright, I think. Methinks. 
I'm doing a little babbling today, aren't I? Just a babbling brook. Usually when I'm in my best mood, it's when I start to babble. <laughs> well, I don't know that that's going to work. I don't know, Marlene. Don't know. Maybe. No, I don't think it's going to work with Marlene's cutouts today. Not today, Marlene. Unless we find something we can do as a background from Marlene's cutouts. Uh, we could just make a bigger one, use a bigger one, like this. Now I'm getting tired of the pink. thinking there's always lots of these there's lots of these so let's just punch some of these out oops and make that our background and then we can stick a face or something on top okay let's try that one Two, or, oh, let's just glue them on. Jeez, don't overdo it with the thinking. Right? Don't sweat the small stuff. Oh my God. I'm just full of them today. Oops. Ooh, geez, slippery one. one. I want a different one. Let's pick a bigger one. Let's go with a let's go with this yellow. I love little quick projects like this. right up my alley <laughs> okay we can put that down now and then we can put a face or an animal or some wonderful creature from Marlene's brain Can we put something on this without it being too busy? Let's see. Let this little girl. Wonder how she would look. She might be a little too small. Maybe a heart. A heart's cute. This face. That would fit on nicely. Let's put this guy on. I have no idea. Unicorn, I guess. Let's put that on. And I chose that because it's got quite a bit of white on it. So hopefully it'll stand out a little bit. There we go. And 
just like that. We'll stabilo the edges. I mean, you don't have to stabilo the edges if you don't have a stabilo pencil. Just leave it as it is. Now I get my Stabilo pencils from Amazon and in order for it to be make any sense I had to order 12 of them. So they'll last me quite a long time. I won't be running out of Stabilo pencils for a while. Now if you're anything like I am the back of these tags will be dirty. <laughs> That's easily remedied. Just slip on something to cover that up. Once you're all, your hands are cleaned up and you have a cleaner workspace, you know, just put something over that. Okay. Where's my little punch thing? Where are you? Now where, how, I've only got like four, square feet that here that I'm working in so there it is right here I believe Pop. okay now here's our three for our ring do you want to try that I wish you could actually answer me. I don't have the nerve to do a live video. So I just wish you could answer me. Maybe one day I'll do a live video. Also, thinking, somebody asked me the other day about Patreon. Why don't I have a Patreon? account and it got me thinking again I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers I get a fair number of views um, something to think about now if I did I would do you know little giveaways slip things into the mail I would do extra videos, maybe some downloads. Sometimes I uh, will do a little, say a whimsical drawing and can download it and offer that for people that want to, you know, fill it in, color it, paint it themselves, some drawing I've done. Now, how cute is that? Look at that. Little, uh, now, if you wanted to, you could use this for storage. Just have a whole stack of them in there. Or, I'm thinking, what you could do is, and what I think I will do, is spray these and Mod Podge them, just to make them a little bit more durable. Which way am I going here? Um... And I'm thinking what you could do, if you wanted, is maybe just put one on and make this a keychain. You could do that. Just add maybe this thing, whatever these are called. If you know what these are called, let me know. I don't know specifically what this is called. This is just a ring, and then there's the little tiny ones that are called jump rings, but I don't know what these are called. I got a package, it's got a few different things in it. Now, I've got that already assembled, so let's see what that would look like. Um, let's Mod Podge it first. Okay. Now, I can't Mod Podge that. I could, but... Uh, I think I'll stick with just these two. And I like to, I have Stabilo on there, so that means that I have to uh, spray it first 
with the varnish or else because as I said the Stabilo is uh, activated with water and Mod Podge is quite liquidy so um, I'm going to off camera spray this a couple of times with Kmart varnish Ta -da! and then put a coat or two of Mod Podge down I might do this one too do a coat or two of Mod Podge, and then we'll come back and look at uh, what we have. Back in a bit. Hi, I'm back. Cleaned up everything, washed my hands. Mm, feel good now. <laughs> um, this is what our uh, little collages look like with the Mod Podge. You can use um, gloss medium or matte medium or matte Mod Podge for that matter. I thought maybe this one might be used for a purse charm, you know, for the outside of a purse. So I added a couple other little pieces there. And then we have our ring with our, uh, this one I did this morning, one we did today, this afternoon, another one I did this morning, and another one we did today. So you can either store them on this ring, you can send them out as an ATC on a ring. Um, yeah, I've never done any artist trading cards, so if you're interested, let me know. <laughs> I'm always game for things. So, yeah, I found this uh, ribbon when I was looking for my papers that I bought a few years ago. So I thought I'd make a little tag out of that. Now, if you're making a tag to put on a gift, you might want to... Um, Add a piece of cardstock on the back just to clean it up. Um, or if it's like this, you can make it black in the back and just add, you know, some white paint instead of black or however you want to do it. I took that rib out that uh, string off and put a piece of ribbon on, but it turned out pretty good for not having any Christmas paper. And then the final one, probably my favorite, and. Yeah, painted in the back because I'm such a messy worker. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, would love a thumbs up as usual. And if, if you are subscribed, don't forget to press the notification bell so you get notified when I uh, am uploading. And if you haven't subscribed, today's a good day to do that. I just hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I had fun doing it. So you folks have a fabulous day. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.